the growing number of elk out here in the Skagit Valley is a controversial topic, and depending on who you ask, more elk is either a good or a bad thing. Driving down Highway 20, you'll see all of the elk crossing signs, and you'll also see other signs like this one that points to the amount of damage elk can cause to farmland and private property, even schools. And that's what you're looking at here. I went by the concrete school district and saw where the elk have damaged fences and damaged playing fields. And I talked to the superintendent for the concrete school district, also a bus driver who says the elk are causing a lot of dangerous situations for them. Um, they run around and they're dangerous and unpredictable and uh, I deal with them on a regular basis. You know you can be standing from me to you away and those bulls will come charging through there and that's my concern with little kids out here at the same time. Now there are also people out here who really love the elk and I spoke with a couple members of some of the local tribes. Elk actually numbered just in a couple hundred down here in the 90s and it has grown to about 1500 since then. They're celebrating that. We have a spiritual connection, a cultural connection and it, it, we actually, you know, celebrate the diverse nature in both activities and uh, species diversity, including the human wildlife interface. And it's a fine line that we have to walk and, and, we're, and the commitment is there for the tribe to, to continue to meet with the Skagit tribes and the county and the, our local community to find that solution. The Department of Fish and Wildlife also says that it's working on a solution. We have a group of people that regularly meets to actively manage this herd. And this is a big topic we, we discuss regularly. How can we help these affected property owners? How can we help mitigate for this damage? But critics say that more needs to be done and faster, so they're planning to take legal action if nothing is done in the near future. In Cedro Willie, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.